Here's a horse that lost his lower incisors and his whole lower jaw from a neoplasia or cancer that was surgically removed. And I want to put this into super slow motion while this horse comes out and grazes on some grass outside of the barn. The first thing you're going to notice is that the tongue hangs out a lot. But in all horses, if you do slow motion video of them, they will stick their tongue out and lick the grass up into their mouths. And what's fascinating is you can see the position of the tongue just underneath the upper incisors there. And this is true in all horses at all times. So we're going to put it into slow motion again. I want you to see this horse bring his head down and lick the grass up into the mouth. Well, you didn't see it there. See, he licks it up into the mouth. And then he's going to draw his nose toward his hoof right there. Do you see that? And that's how he's ripping the grass off the ground. So this is, to me, a real indicator that they don't use their incisors to actually uh, sever the grass from the ground. What they do is they place the grass between the tongue and the upper teeth and then they bring the nose back toward their feet and rip the grass off, pinching it. Now this is true if they don't have any upper incisors either. You're going to see also, well you aren't going to see in this horse, but horses that don't have any upper incisors, they do the same thing. Remember all ruminants like cattle, sheep, goat, deer, have no upper incisors, and they harvest grass just fine. So here again, he pulls back, and you can see it be, being trapped between the tongue and the upper incisors. One or two more times here, and you'll get the idea that the incisors really aren't used. It's the tongue placing the grass between the tongue, whatever it can put up above it, and ripping it off from the ground.